Hi, this is Miranda from My Scrappy Life and welcome back to my channel. This is a process video for Monique's 40th birthday celebration along with 700 subscribers. So I decided to do a bunch of different things. So I did a scrap lift and this is one of hers and I'll link it down below. Now, I had to redo a little bit of this background. Um, my background changed just a little bit. You will see it when I put it all together, but ultimately it's still kind of the same thing. So I did not like the fact that one side of my black paper wasn't showing, so I do redo it. So she wanted us to play along with her favorite things. And so she likes bright colors, rainbow, sunshine, mixed media, sequins, sparkle, flowers, fussy cutting, embellishment, stitching, and cut files. Well. I decided to do the rainbows, the mixed media, florals, and yeah, that's what it is. So my distressed oxides that I am using is speckled egg, um, kitsch, flamingo, weathered wood, shabby shutters, and then scattered straw. And these match up really well actually with the lighter tones of Sweet Rush from Vicki Booten. And then I decided to make my own mixed media background. So you saw where I took the distressed oxides and I just sl slid it across, put in some water and called it, a, you know, and got some spritz on it and call it a day. Then I got out Vicki Booten's modeling paste because I absolutely love Vicki Booten's modeling paste. And I took one of her stencils not sure where which one this is but i know it's hers i just don't know um which collection this came from and i am just going around and making it the background and then what i did was i wanted to add some more texture all the way around so i just take the the stencil and just pat it while it lightly touch and just kind of move the stuff around <laughs> Excuse me, so sorry. Um, I needed, or a sneeze was coming on and there was no way I could stop it. So sorry. But, um, so she likes rainbows and I took this paper that is, the, was the background piece to the cut, or to the stencils and now I'm using it. I keep hers quite a bit. I don't keep all of those pieces because there is quite a bit of them, but I do keep pretty much um, most of the ones that I know for a fact I will use and this is one of them. So what I did was is that you'll see me start to do some of the cutting, the stitching or the um, embellishing of like ones that I want to stick up and the ones I want to go down. I distress everything because that's you know my forte, all of that. So while that is happening, the photos is uh, when did I take these photos? You know what? It was around one of the times of this school year, this past school year that I just finished. And it it was a rough start to the school year for um, my students. I We went out with COVID. My students went out with COVID. I went out with COVID in the beginning of August. And it was just like a, a roller coaster ride for them. So... In the beginning. And then we got it down. I, you know, fixed some things up in my classroom to make sure that um, it didn't happen again. And we did really well throughout the school year. And we only had to go out one more time because our class went out. Um, well, I'll take that back. My class went out three different times. So it, you know, and then once I, once we got it down, then it was a long time. And then we had one last that went out. So um, we did pretty good, but this was just one of those times I was coming through and I was like, you know what? I need some good vibes going on because it was a lot. So what I did was is here, I took the, so the photograph is the same photograph. One is just black and white and the other one is colored. And I just love how that turned, turned out. And so I wanted to make my eyes look like I'm looking up into the clouds. And so here I am, I'm dreaming of, or living the dream life. I do use my title as good vibration or good vibes. You'll see me put that down. 
It'll take me a little bit to get it there, but you'll see it. And then I take this peacock. I know it's up in the clouds, but it fits everything about it. I just have all of it just fitting perfect for what I wanted this layout to look like. I had the envision of what I used the mixed media of what she did in the in her layout for um, Monique's uh, scrap lift that I'm using, I guess. And so what I'm doing here is is that I'm placing down all these clouds and whatnot, and I'm I, I know that this is definitely not her style in. The, the respect of, let's put a peacock in some clout, you know, because that, that's totally me <laughs> right there. But you guys know me. If the colors match, it doesn't bother me that I have a peacock in the clouds, you know, but it fits. Like, it it just fits the vibe. It fits what I'm going for, um, you know, in that fashion. So I have these clouds, and I love that um, Vicky Booten gave us at least three of them because it does actually work. And y'all, we all know that flowers aren't in the clouds either, but it just, it, it fits. The mixed media fits, the, the story behind these photos fit, it just fits. And so it makes um, the picture just that much more. So here I am, I'm just taking and putting all these photos or all these um, florals. I got them out and I was kind of playing around with them. And just to try to get them so that I added those floral um, flowers to the layout as well. So I want to make sure that you go wish Monique a happy birthday. Celebrate that she hit 700 subscribers. I think she's almost close to 800 by the time we get this done. And uh, her and I celebrate our 40th at the same time. Um, for the most part, uh, she's obviously turning 40 today. And then I turn 40 on the 4th of June. So we're very, you know, we were both born in 82 and, you know, all that fun stuff, right? So it matches. So here I am. I take the title and my title is going to be Good Vibes because, man, did I need it this year for this school year. It was a tough year. But this just fits like, it just fits. It's so fitting. And I just love how it turns out. Now I'm taking these little bits. It's not really sequence, but it's more my sparkle. And then I do round out with um, Dana Weekly's uh, uh, gold spritz. That's kind of like the Heidi Swap color shine that everybody like raved about. And I disliked it. I didn't like it. I had other colors that I, or other gold that I liked better. But I do add that bling factor, that sparkle factor. So, ultimately, her favorite things, I was able to do the bright colors. I was able to do the rainbow. I kind of did a sun... No, I didn't do sunshine. Well, I kind of did with the lemons and the oranges, if you want to call it, but I kind of did that. I definitely did the mixed media, and I definitely did the flower flowers. So, make sure that you go check out everybody down below that is in the hop. Um, it is a big one. My channel is going to be fully loaded. I am finally back. I went over this past weekend and scrap look, scrapbooked a ton. So you guys will see tons of inspiration. I got my mojo back. And let me tell you, those last two months in April and May was a killer. And I explain it throughout some of my videos. I had to kind of give up different content, you know, so that I had something to talk about outside of this because... Um, starting today and then through at least until the 10th, there is quite a bit going up on my channel. So make sure that you go check out everybody. Like and subscribe if you're new to my channel. Welcome. I'm so glad to have you. My 3,000 subscriber giveaway is on the 4th. So make sure you go check out my channel as well. And I hope that you guys are all staying safe. Have a wonderful day and I will talk to you soon. Bye.